Hey there, Becky here from Inside the Square. In this video, I'm going to teach you how you can customize the look of content inside a markdown block in your Squarespace website. We're going to be using a little bit of CSS to give it a unique background color and a border and change up the font styles specifically for that markdown block. Now, if you're brand new to code, definitely check out my free training video linked below, available at insidethesquare.co forward slash learn. I'd love to teach you the basics of CSS before you start playing around with some advanced techniques like what we're covering in this video. But if you're not new to CSS, you're ready to dive right in, let's go ahead and hop into Squarespace and I'll show you what selectors you'll use to modify that markdown block. So here we are in my Squarespace website, and I am using version 7.1, but this code will work for any version of Squarespace. I'm going to hop into edit mode to show you this markdown block really quickly here. You'll notice if I double click on this, I've got a markdown block. This has a hashtag here to denote a heading one text, then some paragraph text. I've put a quote inside here and another one. I will link to the syntax cheat sheet right here available from Squarespace in the description of this video. This will teach you about how to actually create text in there. So if you're brand new to markdown blocks, you're really not aware of all the different types of things you can type and use them to insert information into your site, check out that cheat sheet linked in the description. But let's assume you've got this set up. We're going to play with some custom code to style just the text and just this block of content right here. I'll go ahead and select done. And we're going to navigate to design and then scroll down to custom CSS at the bottom. Now here, we're going to use the selector markdown block. Easy to remember, right? The first thing I'm going to do is change the size of the H1 font in here. I don't want it to stand out as much. I'd still love it to be an H1 and really work with it for the SEO of this site. But if I first say markdown block, then H1 and open up a curly bracket here, I can change the font size to maybe let's go for two REM and notice just the H1s in that markdown block are changing. We can also change the color. Let's say I want it to be a bright shade of teal. There we go. All kinds of options that will only apply to the H1 inside the markdown block. Now let's add a little bit of code to the entire block itself. We can really make it stand out on the site. So I'm going to say markdown block and I'll open up a curly bracket and we'll start with the background color. I'll make it a nice light shade of blue that I, that I like here. F5, F6. There we go. Now it has the same blue as other elements in my site. Let's go ahead and give it a border on the left. I'll say border left, 5px solid, and go back to that teal color that I enjoy. Helps it stand out a little bit more. And let's go ahead and give it some padding. I don't want the edge of it, of the edge of that background color to be right up next to the text. So I'm going to say padding, 1rem, and let's say exclamation point, important. There we go. Now the browser knows to pay attention to my padding code. So super duper customizable. The important thing to remember is use the selector markdown block. Oh, and last but not least, we can style the text in here differently as well. We've got this quote block right here. Let's go ahead and style that quote. I'm going to say markdown block, and then I'll say block quote. That's the selector for it. Open up a curly bracket, and let's go with background, uh, solid white background, and let's give this some padding as well. A little bit of padding there, uh, 0.5 REM. Perfect. That makes the quote stand out just a little bit more. So again, the main selector is markdown block. Then after that, you can do things like target the H1 text or target the entire block itself to really make that content stand out on your site. Super customizable. And whenever you decide to change, just select save when you're done and you'll be good to go. And there you have it. The codes I used in this video are actually listed below. The specific ones are those shades of blue and teal and all kinds of fun stuff that you can customize. I definitely want to encourage you to get creative here with these colors and borders and different font styles. So check out the related videos linked below for a few more ideas. Thank you so much for watching this tutorial. If you enjoyed it, give me a like and a comment and definitely subscribe to my channel because I post a brand new tutorial every single week and I want to make sure you catch the latest. Thanks again for watching and most importantly, have fun with your Squarespace website. Bye for now. If you like this tutorial, you're gonna love my Squarespace CSS cheat sheet. I put all of my custom codes and pro tips inside one gigantic PDF available now at insidethesquare.co forward slash CSS. That's insidethesquare.co forward slash CSS.